Spartans! What is your profession? The Bad Blue Podcast, everybody. We have a banger and some breaking news for you today. As normal, we are always brought to you by Spartan BK Fight Club, Scott West Shellfish, and Mr. Bloom's Black Seed Oil Mechanics. Head over to all their pages on every social media platform. Check out the products. Check out what they do. You will not be, you, you won't be, you'll be very happy with what they offer. We have got Christian Roberts, the owner of Spartan BK Fight Club on. We've had him on many times, but also BYB, coming from America, Mike Vasquez. My friend, how are you? Very good, guys. Thanks for having me. Oh, it is absolute an honor to have you on, my friend. I am going to get straight into it. You have linked up in some form of way, Spartan and BYB. Can you tell us some details about it, please? Yeah, Mum. Um, first, good to see you in person, Mike. Likewise, my friend. Um, yeah, man. Um, it's no secret we're the biggest small ring company in UK, maybe Europe. You know, with the most brutal form of BKB, um, bar none, you know. Um, now, when I first started speaking to Mike, I remember Mike saying, you know, we dig what you do as well because, you know, we don't like the fights that are boring ending and dragged out and blah, blah, blah. You know, we like the close action knockouts. We're dealing knockouts, man. So, you know, uh, what Mike doesn't know is with me and... Um, me and Dad had exchanged a few voice notes uh, on Instagram one day, and I said, Where's, where are you at, man? I said, we've got the <laughs> best small ring fighters in the world. And Dad replied, Christian Roberts, are you serious? I've been doing this since this shit was cool. So, you know, uh, like I say, we ended up talking to Mike. We're, I'm, me, personally, I'm a massive fan of what Mike and Dad are doing over there at BYB. I think it's... I think it's as close to the form that we're doing, but using a trigon as a triangle ring, which is a very small ring anyway. Um, interesting, man, but it, it induces knockouts, it induces fast action. And that's, in my opinion, what the public want to see. So mm -hmm. me to, to, to ask BYB to work with us and do some shows, swap some fighters and get some action on us, a natural thing for me. I wouldn't work with anybody before them. Yeah, I mean, our, same thing here. Our philosophy really is to get the fights, uh, the results out of the hands of the judges and, and back into the hands of the fighters. Uh, you know, we've all seen real bad decisions, uh, you know, uh, uh, over the years. And that's uh, it's not good for the fighters that uh, uh, they train hard for those results and, and less for the fans who want to see a clear victor uh, and, and want to be in agreement for the most part. You never get 100 percent agreement, you know, but uh, uh, there's nothing like a knockout to uh, settle a. Uh, a result or, or something. So what we've done is we've made sure we do our, our full three minute rounds uh, and we've shortened the, uh, the, the, the space, uh, uh, not only shortened it, but changed the, uh, uh, the angles really, uh, you know, with the triangle, what we're doing is we're pushing the action from the corners to the center of the ring. Um, and that's where the confrontation happens. That's where uh, blows get exchanged. And if you, you may be able to take one step back, but if you take two steps back, you're going to be in one of those tight corners and uh, it might be the end of your night. So, uh, uh, you know, that's really, really it. We want fighters to step up and fight, not to, you know, uh, rope dope and, uh, you know, bounce around the ring and run around the ring and catch their breaths. And uh, we want we want to see uh, the best man win. Yeah, man, I share the same view. Uh, I just want to say I share the same view as Mike that, this is why that I believe we'll make good fights together because, like Mike says himself, you know, that theirs is designed to meet in the middle, man. You, you've been to our shows, Lee. Um, it, it, you know, it's an eight, eight foot by eight foot. You know, you take a step to the left, you're on the bales. Take a step backwards, you're on the bales. You've just got to come forward, man. And that style of fighting, come forward, stand and bang, it's always entertaining, man. And the other thing is, like Mike says, we don't have draws at Spartan because we don't believe any fans travel to watch a draw and no fighter prepares for a draw. So, you know, if, if the fight's close at the end and we can't call it, then we'll both be medically checked. And if they can fight another round, they'll fight another round. If not, we'll go on countback and we'll see who's got the best of the action and that'll be made a winner. 
There's no draws at Spartan. If you want draws, go to Ikea, you know, and there's definitely no fucking dancing in that pit. If you want dancing, go come dancing with the stars or whatever, man, but this isn't the place for you if you like dancing or, or draws. The atmosphere on a Spartan show, I have been to uh, unlicensed events. I've been to professional events. I've been to mixed martial arts events. That has really nothing, nothing like the experience, the atmosphere of the pit. It, it, it really is. And Mike, the, the, your, the atmosphere that your fans bring as well, I just believe it's, it's just a match made in heaven. How logistically is this going to work? Well, uh, originally what the, the conversation was, and I think it's already in play, um, uh, I, I don't want to steal anybody's thunder, but I, I know that one of our guys is already lined up uh, to, to take the trip overseas uh, and, and fight on one of their cards. And, that, and that's basically how we'll start it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a guy or a couple guys uh, go and fight on one of their cards uh, representing uh, BYB in, in the States. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, we'll invite, uh, which we already have, we're, we're waiting for a list of, uh, of potential fighters uh, that we can pull from uh, for our upcoming events. I mean, we have one here July 16th at the Hard Rock. Uh, that one's going to be free on uh, YouTube for everybody to watch. So you'll be able to enjoy it for free out, out uh, where you're at. Uh, and then our next fight, uh, fight is September 10th. So right now we're looking at September 10th for the next card. If we can get some guys over from Spartan that we can match up. Uh, and, uh, and we'll work like that. Then eventually, uh, God willing, what we can do is uh, unify, uh, you know, belts and have our champions fight their champions and, uh, uh, and, and uh, just continue to grow the sport, which is it's something that it's really important. You know, this is really different uh, uh, style of promotion than what I've been accustomed to. In, uh, I came from the world of NASCAR, right, where everybody is a team owner or a sponsor and they all work together to build an audience, right? They, they, the promoters actually work together to build an audience, to coordinate events. Uh, that's what I wanted to do when I first came into the sport, was work with other promoters to grow the sport. But it's a very uh, uh, mirror the highway kind of, uh, uh, where you try to work with some promoters, uh, but no, it's, uh, there's only space for one in, mo in some people's mind. And they uh, they'll try to shut you out. They'll badmouth you. They won't let you do this. They'll they'll, they'll do, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, uh, you know, uh, uh, with some people. But you know, it's a breath of fresh air to work with Christian and and to be able to uh, uh, even if it's from a distance for now, begin to uh, work together and and uh, eventually it can grow from there. See, this is why I think this is a very 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 unique opportunity. Not like it's not opportunity. Sorry, I would say this is a really good circumstance for Ben Nuttall because you do find that promoters do ostracise their fighters from fighting on other organisations. Now, you find that problem in boxing. You don't always get what you want in boxing. Now, I believe in our world, if we can keep, if you can be the forefathers of that working together, hopefully, eventually all together, promoters will work as one. And we can find out who is the best because ultimately we we'll all just want to know who is the best fighter, and it, it, that's all it is. So, I, I just from my point of view, I just want to jump in and say, um, first, thanks for Mike for respecting our privacy on the fighter that's coming over. But I can tell you now that it is Leo Pla that's going to come over and fight Darnell John for the middleweight and transatlantic titles. He's got his contract today and he's very happy with his contract. So, okay. you know, that'll be the first step. September the 10th, I have got a list of three or four fighters here, Mike, who are all champions with us and all top quality fighters that could put a real show on. Um, I will be coming over on the 10th of September with my fighters to accompany them to watch the show. I want to get a feel for it. A, I've been a fan of B, but BYB for quite some time. I've made no secret of that. I've said it in other interviews, as you know, Lee. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I respect everybody and I respect everybody's uh, arena, the ring, the cage, whatever arena you're stepping into takes real balls, man. So, you know, hats off to whoever's getting in. But there's something different about small ring and pit. That, that separates and stands alone, the style of fighting. And I really believe this will be the first step to some really epic 
work in the future of putting these shows on and putting some really big title fights on along the way. And like Mike said, you know, you've seen it over here, Lee, that we, we started at the bottom a few years ago and we were laughed at and, you know, we were made fun of by other promoters and blah, blah, blah. Now we're one of the biggest out there, you know, and, and that just doesn't happen by luck or overnight. We've got a family-based atmosphere. We've got a brilliant following, a massive network, as you know, of followers. Um, and it's a family atmosphere, man. And these guys over in America, this BYB, I mean, you can't get any more family orientated than dad are having shows in his back garden, you know? So, you, you know, that's where it began. And, you know, they're, they're two like us. We started in a field with four cones and now we're in four-star hotels and we're pay-per-view and we're about to launch the app and everything else. So, you know, they've done exactly what we've done, but done it before us. They've done it before BKFC, by the way, in America as well. They've done it before any other network out there. These guys were there doing it before them. So they're not going anywhere, man. Um, you know, I've been reached out to, which I will say on film, by David Feldman. Uh, I've been reached out to by other promoters out there as well. And it doesn't interest me, man. You know, uh, I have got the odd fighter who'd like to fight in the ring, but they might as well do that in the UK. As far as I'm concerned, our, our branch now that's opening in Mississippi to do the pit and myself personally with the bigger stars from our main pay-per-view events will be featuring on the BYB in the future, all being well. And, and, and I'm expecting we will put some absolute mouth-watering fights on in the future. Mike, what is your highlighted division? I know everybody loves the heavyweights, they love the big hitters, but what is what is your division that is absolutely steeped and got a lot of depth? Well, we, we've uh, started, uh, you know, our belts uh, uh, tournament uh, for the 185 a couple of events ago. We're at the semifinal rounds at the 185 pounds. Uh, I don't know how much that is in stones, but uh, it's a 185 pounds. Uh, 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 we have uh, several good guys. That's where uh, uh, Leo's fought. He's also fought at 170 for us. Those are two two good categories uh, where we have a, a lot of fighters. We we're, we got a couple guys at that 135, 140, 145 uh, uh, pound that are just uh, – uh, little animals, and and the other thing we have are uh, some some real tough women. Uh, I know that's something that that you guys are still working on over there, but uh, we have a lady named Christine Stanley. Uh, her her nickname is Knuckles, and oh. she fights at 135. I walk around at 175. I wouldn't fight her. Uh, mm -hmm. she, she's that tough. Uh, she we had to find. Uh, we've had fights uh, that we we just couldn't match for her. People just, did, nobody wanted to fight her. Oh, it's Stanley? No, I don't want to fight her. No, I'm not ready. No, my girl's not ready. No, you know, so it's been really hard. We had to go south of the border uh, and find a real tough Mexican, uh, uh, Patricia Juarez, which is uh, Barbie Juarez, uh, or, or Pink Barbie, I think, uh, a Mexican big, big boxing star, her younger sister. Uh, she's got, she's gritty, she's tough. And she's going to go uh, make a show for it for the woman's 135, which we were actually just going to give her the belt. Because nobody wanted to fight her. We're like, hey, you see this until somebody wants to fight you, then they, they, they'll, they'll take it away. But we did find uh, Patricia, so we're excited about that. We also have uh, Aaron Toughhill. Uh, Aaron is one tough lady. She was in the uh, uh, American Gladiator program many years ago. Uh, she was one of the American Gladiators. Uh, her name was Steel, but she's been in boxing and MMA for many years. She fought uh, Layla Ali, uh, wow. gave her a tough fight. So, I mean, she's uh, one tough chick. She's fighting Josette Cotton. And that's at the female 168 pounds. So, I mean, the, the, don't, don't, you know, don't count the ladies out. The ladies sometimes put them, the, you know, those toughest fights that, that we've seen have been, uh, uh, you know, the ladies coming in. They, there's, you know, you, you, you deal with them at home, you know, when they're going to turn that <laughs> off, there's no turning them off. You know, we haven't had a lady, we've only had two fights go the distance in all our events, go five rounds. Uh, None of the female fights have gone to this. I think they've all got settled before the second round. So, wow. So, it's yeah. only ignorance and arrogance people saying that women can't fight. And uh, uh, some of the women who fight today are killers, man. They are killers. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, no, I love, I love to see it. You know, in the beginning, it was, you know, it was new, right? So, you're like, oh, I don't want to see a lady get hurt or, yeah. or whatever. But, you know, everybody's in, we're all adults and they're, 
they're living their passion. And if they're into it, you know, why wouldn't we support them just like we support a man? And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, I guess, you know, first couple of times I saw a fight or a woman after a fight, I was like, oh, wow. But I, I don't I don't feel that anymore. I see them as fighters, you know, yeah. uh, a fighter's a fighter. Yeah, that's, I didn't mean nothing derogatory or any disrespect by saying women. I, I, I don't like that term myself. They are fighters, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Chris, Christian, uh, your fighters, would you like to mention some of your... I mean, I know, but would you like to tell some of the audience, because obviously we'll be going out of America as well, some of our top fighters? <coughs> yeah, man. Um See, we, 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 we always look at our fight club and you're always going to be biased about your fighters and which weight divisions are stacked. I can honestly say, hand on heart, that the, there's only one or two divisions that we're struggling in, and that's cruiserweight and super middleweight. Apart from that, every single division we've got is stacked with killers, man. You know, and, and there's some really good fights coming up on Fight Fest. You know, we've got 40 fights in one day. There's oh. gonna be there's gonna be a lot of problems settled that day, man. Um, and we'll have a clear the path after them with belts and stuff like that. I mean, Andrew Anthony, shout out. Um, he's our current bad motherfucker, open weight champion. Where you, it's an open weight belt, man. He has to take on all comers. He's a bad mother at the moment. He's gonna take some stopping. Aaron Lamborn, another cracking heavyweight. He's fighting Wayne Morgan, who's our current heavyweight world and transatlantic champion at the moment. You know, the heavyweight division's stacked. You know, you've got Ben as well. You've got uh, Lewis Francis coming back. You've got David Manor from Italy, who's the European champion. All these guys, man, are legit. Yeah. Middleweight's Darnell John, who Leo Pla's coming over to fight. Um, you know, lightweight, Robbie Adamson, Tony Meehan, you know, Jack McLeod, Jack Kirkbright. You know, the list goes on. The, 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 there's some killer fight, fighters in each division, man. Uh, we have got a, as Mike touched on earlier, we are going to start introducing women, which this is another exclusive, but I haven't gone live in the group with yet, but we are going to introduce women at some point, maybe at the end of the year or maybe at the beginning of the next year. I'm going to recruit a good 20 to 30 women and see what the division's like and what divisions we can get. Um. We can reach into our resources whenever we need. You know yourself, Lee. We've got one of the biggest stables oh, around the, in the world of boxing at the moment. I think we've got something like 120 signed pros. And uh, we've got like 60 to 80 people who are waiting for contract. You know, other people who are trying to impress for contract. We've got a big stable, man. But the, the, the competition's fierce here. So only the breast and the cream of the crop are going over to fight on BYB. So... You know, we've already established that Andrew Anthony's going to be one. That's an exclusive for even Mike because I haven't sent him the list yet. Uh, so Andrew Anthony's one. Robbie Adamson is another one. Um, and I'll be giving him a list tonight with four or five names on and he can pick who he wants from that list and, and we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, like I say, they're a few of our fighters. We, we have got a few stacked divisions, as I'm sure Mike has. I've, I've been watching extensively the, the, the fights that Mike and them have been having on YouTube and stuff. And it's wild, man. It's crazy stuff. And if you put a pit fighter and a trigon fighter together, <laughs> it's going to end badly, man. <laughs> well, I, I got a shout out to uh, Mel Valenzuela, who's our matchmaker. He's doing a great job. Uh, he started a couple of events uh, for us, uh, doing really well match fights, bringing in some guys from the West Coast, some guys from California while, while uh, Watson's coming down. Uh, you know, we have some guys here locally, Florida, Carlos Lopez. Uh, tough guy. We'd love to see a match. These are uh, these are the kind of gritty fighters we want to put uh, forward to to face the Spartan guys because we know uh, you know uh, they're gonna they're gonna come with the heat and we gotta we gotta match it here with uh, with some of our guys. So uh, we're we're excited to, uh, to to put those good matchups together. Just on the take you, I'll take you back a little bit. Uh, I'll take you back to the start, but not too much in depth. Did you meet much resistance when you first come into this? as in trying to promote the bare knuckle. Did you, did you meet much resistance from, like, states? Did you, commissions, stuff like that? Who's that to, me or Mike? That's to Mike. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said Christian. Um, um, yeah, um, 
you know, at first you talk fair enough, everybody gets squeamish, right? But you have to really go into educating people, right? Why were gloves invented? Well, gloves were invented to protect the hand so they can hit the head more because our bare knuckle fights were going 30, 40, 50 rounds and uh, uh, people were enjoying the head shots and the body shots weren't getting those, those KOs. So promoters wanted to pad those hands so they can go for more uh, head shots. So the reality is, uh, you know, <laughs> a bare knuckle boxing will draw more body blows. And, and if you go to a, uh, uh, a regular boxing stats, right? 600 punch stats, 600 punches thrown in a regular 10, 12 round match. Uh, 400 landed of those 200 to the head, you know, in a bare knuckle fight. I mean, Christian, what's your experience? Maybe 50 punches thrown, you know, 30 landed, you know, 12 to the head, you got a knockout, you know, so uh, the damage is more superficial. Uh, Pauli Malinaji, who, uh, you know, a world-class fighter, uh, two, two uh, uh, time champ. Uh, he did some bare knuckle. Now he's one of our commentators along with Mike Goldberg from the UFC uh, so he has experience on both sides, on the regular boxing and the bare knuckle. He prefers the bare knuckle. You know, uh, uh, you know the hands uh, uh, will heal more than your brain will. Uh, and, and that's the, the, the short and skinny of it. So uh, once you educate people and they say, wow, I never thought of it that way. Wow, it was never explained to me that way. Well, but that's, that's a fact. The glove was made to protect the hands so he can hit the head longer. And then now we're in an era where an NFL running back can't lower his head uh, a, a, a linebacker can't come in with a crown of his helmet for a, you know, a tackle to the back of a quarterback, you know, as, a, as they used to in our football. Uh, I don't know if on your side of the pond, if they're cutting back on uh, over here, they actually are not allowing kids to head the ball in soccer until they're a certain age. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Like that. So, so, you know, we're protecting the head everywhere, but here in the most, you know, violent of sports, uh, no, let's throw some gloves so you can hit that head a, a little harder and, and for more rounds and, and longer. So it'll take more time, I guess. But, you know, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, people got to realize there's a thousand fights outside, millions of fights outside on a daily basis, you know, without gloves. And for the most part, unless somebody introduces a bat, a crowbar or something else, it's just a fight. You know, and, uh, and, and that's what we're trying to show is just the reality of what happens outside. Like you see two fighters in the ring and you say i wonder what would happen if they fought outside you know without the ropes without the gloves without the lights you know what would it, what would happen outside that's what we try to do you know that's exactly what we try to do We're, we take the ring out the generalship and the the footwork and all that and it's just stand and bang you know and and, and that's what we feel the audience really uh wants we're, we're in an era where you know these things dominate our attention span is nothing. You know, I was talking, you know, with NASCAR years ago, I said, you got to do something because 20 years ago, I would sit down and watch a 500, 600 mile race. But nowadays, after 10 minutes, this pings once, I'm on it. Before you know it, I forgot there was a race going on. So the same thing with the fights, these long cards, 12 round fights and all that. No, bing, bang, boom. You want the, the introduction, you want to see the fight, you want the result, you want to gasp you know wow take it in for a minute and you want the next fight coming right out after that and then you know and you still want to have that energy at the end of the night to party on and keep doing what you're doing once the show's over so that, that's what we try to do excitement continued energy and 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 leave the fans wanting more a conveyor belt of fights just happening is exactly what it is Kristen, may i pose the same question to you did you meet resistance clearly obviously We've we yeah we 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 struggled at first as it was no secret. Um, so I went ahead and had the shows anyway. I did everything that I should have been doing with a license, but I I put door staff on. We had plastic glasses. We had you know everything. We had top medicals, um, top medical staff. Uh, fighters were looked after. Everything. And then when I had two shows, I went to the police and said, right, you've told me I can't have one twice. I've had two. I've had hundreds of people at these events. Uh, uh, they've all gone good. And then, lo and behold, we got a, a license in Bradford. We've had three legal shows in Bradford now. Um, we've just got a new venue in Manchester. We've opened four branches apart from mine nationwide across the UK. So we've got different areas of the UK covered now. We've also just opened the Ring Company, which I'm in partnership with former UFC legend Mark, the Hand of Godbeer. 
he'll be doing the ring BKB over here for us, the Spartan. Um, he knows his stuff. He's still one of the world's number one bare knuckle heavyweights on the planet. He's the current Ken Shamrock Velour heavyweight title holder. So he knows the business, man. He, he, he'll run the ring, and, and I'm good with that, you know. But for the pit, yeah, we met resistance, but we start to get licenses easy, and now people know that we run these shows absolutely perfectly and they're regulated correctly. And yeah, man. Last of all, Mike, uh, would you like to give shout out to any of major influential uh, sponsors who's been, well, as I say, influential in really helping kickstart the company and push it to the where you want it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, bmcham.com, uh, they're a, a gold and silver company uh, that's supporting us, uh, you know, with the currency and all the craziness uh, going on. You know, gold and silver usually is pretty steady and continues to go up. So that's a good uh, 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 sponsor that we've had that support us. Also, have, uh, these are real cool. I got to see if I can send you some of these or you can find, I don't know if it spells out reverse yeah. on the screen, but it's called SureFit Thermoguards. These are uh, 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 mouthpieces, uh, uh, mouth guards that actually change color with your temperature. So if you're training, if you got some fighters in the gym, you throw these on. Uh, uh, if they start overheating or dehydrating, this will actually start turning orange. Wow. Uh, so if you're a trainer, you can keep your, you know, your fighter, uh, uh, you know, healthy yeah. and make sure somebody doesn't overtrain or, or over sponsor that, that came on board but we're working with some uh, new sponsor i can't make an announcement yet but we're working with a couple new that i'd love to uh come back at some point and, and, and talk about christian yeah um they have a presence really shout out to all our sponsors you know scott west shellfish um this is priority security um uh, the Spoxy, the, the sports app that sponsored us. And, you know, every one of them that sponsored us, listen, without them, we're nothing, you know. So, uh, and, you know, Ecotech Systems as well, who sponsor Fight Fest and we sponsor the shows. And all of them, man, they're all amazing. And without them, it'd be a lot harder job than what we've got at the moment. So, massive big out to all our sponsors in Spartan Wars. Amazing. Uh, long may I continue. And just before I go, I want to say thanks for coming on today, Mike. Uh, really looking forward to working with you. And I will definitely be over on September the 10th to have a look what it's all about in person. I look forward to it, bro. Thank you very much. Make sure you tune in on uh, Friday, July 13th. Uh, uh, we're going to have a great fight at the Hard Rock, 10 big fights. Uh, it's going to be a great show. See some of the guys you see on that card. See if they line up well with uh, some of your guys. And uh, we'll talk. Yeah, man. Well, that that's for sure. That the thing is, it share the, the stuff with me later. I'll speak to you later on inbox, but share me the stuff and I'll put it all up in the group and get the event advertised and everything for you. You got it. All right, guys. All right. Thank you so much for having me. I, I appreciate the support. Uh, no, thank you so much for coming on. It was really, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it would be great to actually have you on in the future. Um, maybe if we can get some of your fighters on in the future as well. That would be fantastic. But, uh, Mike, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your work. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.